Hello Leos, so this is your official bid month reading. I'm going to start with the Romance Angel and the Capra deck. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen in Leo's book life for November 15th to the 30th? There's Honeymoon for yourself. Okay. Um, let go of control issues and universe me one more card. So stay optimistic about your love life and release your ex. Okay, so I like this energy. So I feel like someone um, that you're dating, they're going to be inviting you to go on a vacation, a trip. Okay. Some of you guys are um, going to open yourself up to someone as well or open yourself up to new love okay let's see what else I'm universe give me a four card spread what's going to happen in leo's love life so there's toy and labor yeah so this is someone who's going to be impressing you universe give me three more cards occupation universe give me two more cards concern and community distant horizons yeah so i see travel for you i see travel I see this person want to do a vacation with you. Okay, they may feel like you need, you know, some time of fun. Okay, I feel like they're going to be treating you really well with, with privileged lady here. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. So, let's see. Okay, right, so universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have? So I got letting go. I did got release your ex. Okay, so I feel you guys have moved on from previous connections. Yeah, so this here, this reading is pertaining to the Leos who are dating. Okay, so there's many options. Beauty, there's going to be ones that you like. Universe, give me one more card. Self-worth. Strength, yeah, the self-love, oath, Jenna energy is conclusions, again, about letting go, the warrior, yeah, Jenna energy is fledging, yeah, so yeah, I feel like you guys are opening yourself up to new love, okay, um, so this reading is pertaining to this, like, the Leos who just in a relationship just now, or singles who are dating, okay, let's see what else I'm getting, I guess you like, at the tarot. Okay. So universe, give me a five card spread. What's going to happen in Leo's love life for November 15 to the 30th, 2021? Two of Wands in reverse. Universe, give me four more cards. Okay. Queen of Swords in reverse. Universe, give me three more cards. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Universe, give me two more cards. Queen of Wands in reverse. What's going on? <laughs> Okay, I see you're not speaking to someone. The universe, give me one more card. What's going to happen in Leo's love life for two of swords? And three of wands in reverse. Gen energy is a world in reverse. Okay, so I see you guys not speaking to someone. But this, like, is weird. So, with the Romance Angel, Capra deck, and the other deck, it's showing the Leos who are opening themselves up to new love. They're in a new connection. Things looking Gucci, things looking good. <laughs> okay. Here, right here, it's showing some weird petty energy. Okay. It's showing some like tension. Okay. I don't feel like most Leos is in this energy. <laughs> but I'm going to see what's going on. Let's see. Okay. So let's, let me clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you guys are dealing with air sign. I've been seeing that a lot in your readings. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Universe, clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse. Wow. So, there's something going on. Someone really, like, got you effed up, basically. That's what I'm saying. Universe, clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who likes to play games anyways. So, it's kind of like the saying, when someone show you who they are, believe them the first time. Okay. Universe, clarify the Two of Swords, Three of Wands in reverse. 
Universe cup had two swords and three wands in verse three of pentacles in the verse. Okay, universe cup had three pentacles in the verse. Also, I feel like if you've been waiting for this person to apologize, don't wait. Okay, they're not they're not worth your time of you waiting for them to you know act right. Just move forward. Okay, the closure that you need is from yourself. You don't need you don't need it from other people. Okay, universe cup had three pentacles in reverse. Okay, nine pentacles. Yeah, this is about being free, independent. Universe cup right, ace of pentacles in reverse. Universe cup right, ace of pentacles in reverse. Ten of cups. Yeah, don't miss all on opportunities just because there's one bad experience, okay? Or there's previous bad experience, okay? Don't let that don't make don't let that affect or influence you and how you are, okay? Universe clarify the Ten of Cups. Universe clarify the Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, don't let those people affect you, okay? Um, universe clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. Hey, man, don't get caught up. It keeps showing that. Don't let this person get the best out of you, basically. Okay, just take that as lesson learned and move forward, okay? Because there is opportunities. It's just that you might overlook them because you still um, focus on what somebody did in the past. Universe clarify the Two of Wands in reverse. Universe clarified two of wands in reverse. King of swords. Universe clarified king of swords. Six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, kind of let that situation go. Okay, heavy air. Okay. Um, universe clarified the world in reverse. Knight of wands in reverse. Again, I feel like we're trying to say close that chapter. Um, you don't need that person to apologize again to get that closure. Just let that situation go. Okay. Universe, clarify the Nine of Wands in reverse. Strength in reverse. Yeah, like, let that situation go. It's not, it's not the best for you, okay? This is just not your person. Just take it as a lesson learned, okay? Don't let this person influence you or who you are, okay? So, yeah, I feel like there's some tension going on, okay? For a lot of you guys, it's probably not going to resonate, okay? Um, but if it is resonating, this part... Just let it go, like take it as lesson learned because I see you have opportunities, but you might be too caught up of like your emotions or um, focus on what this person did. But the universe wants you to see that as lesson learned. Um, don't get too caught up with that basically. Now the sign of that person, that person could be either Sagittarius or a air sign, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So let's see what else I'm getting. Let's see here. Hey, universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Leos? So trust. Probably this is someone that you trust, okay? Universe, give me two more cards. Grief. Universe, give me one more card. And regret. Yeah, so don't don't focus too much on the regret. Just, again, see it as lesson learned. Um take the lessons okay what was the red flags that you was ignoring okay just take those lessons don't let it um influence you or make you change um negatively okay adversity okay this is just a lesson learned the universe will throw um challenges your way just for your soul evolution just for you to grow and evolve okay just see that lesson learned don't get too caught up with it so you see what else i'm getting So, universe, give me a four-card spread. What messages do you have for Leos? So, there's attic. Okay. Child nature. There's mentor. Virgin and lover. Yeah, this part, this is probably not necessarily with love. This could be at work, okay? Probably there's somebody that you trust and they betray you, Okay. But don't get too caught up, okay? Just see the lessons, um, what you can learn from it, okay? Don't let that influence you. Don't let that change you, okay? Okay, because I, I see someone 
like kind of betrayed you. That's what I'm getting. But you just need to take the lessons. Okay, don't hold on to the pain. Okay, flip that lesson into a blessing. So let's see what else I'm getting. So universe, give me a four card spread. Okay, so there is crown chakra in reverse. So yeah, there part was things that you was overlooking. Okay, then I got spiritual strength in reverse. Wow, I got a lot of reversals. Sacra chakra in reverse. Okay, then truth. So the plexus chakra, waiting game, and patience and planning. General energy, it's partnership and alliance. So yeah, I feel like you're going to be breaking free from somebody who was betraying you or someone that you can't trust anymore there probably was a time that you trust them okay again with that saying when you see that person when they, that person show you who they are believe them the first time don't give these people chances the first the first red flag you know just distance yourself okay because it will get worse the longer that you stay in a, um, a situation like that okay so i see betrayals but don't let it get the best out of you, basically. Okay. So let's see what else I'm getting. My right, universe, give me a three card spread. Okay. So healing hearts, camera. Okay. Universe, give me one more card. Universe, give me one more card. Wedding ring. Okay. Jenna energy, not today. Yeah, just let this person go. This person could have probably been married or another relationship. Okay. So not dealing hurt, avoiding conversation, call person, boundaries so angry. Then it is reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past. Yep, make memories. Um, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Union, wedding, marry, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Let's see here. Universe, give me a five card spread for Leos. Universe, give me a five card spread for Leos. Hold your vision, fix moon. I believe this is more like not letting this person change you negatively. Okay. Don't let that happen. Okay. Embrace enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. You are good enough, full moon and Virgo. Rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Joy and delight, open your heart to joy. Discovering the truth, you stand in life truth and walk in beauty, wondrous universe. So yeah, some truth is coming out and it might be feeling like you've been betrayed, whatever. Um, just take that as a lesson learned. What was some flags that you was overlooking, okay? And again, learn from it. Um, vast versus, uh, versus expand your horizons so let's see what else i'm getting okay universe give me a four card spread what messages do you have for leos get more information i feel like this is that truth that's coming out Universe, give me two more cards. Yeah, you're going to heal from this. And wait. Okay, with the next few weeks. Let's see what it's about. Universe, clarify with the next few weeks. There's something better. Yeah, there's something better. Okay, so don't get too caught up with that. It's more like the universe is trying to do divine intervention. Okay, the truth that's coming out. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, universe, give me a two-card spread. What messages do you have for Leos? Okay. So, my creative power. We have a, the moon on her third eye. I feel like it's more trusting your intuition and creative cocooning. Um, probably, to um, as a way to heal, you got to use your creativity. Do something um, that you love to do that's creative. That's going to be helping you. Okay, heal. And the power of talk. 
okay? When my self-talk is kinder, I am empowered in my capacity to pursue my dreams and believe myself. Yep. So don't let something um, just ruin something, okay? There's many opportunities. That's what I'm saying. Don't overlook those opportunities just because something didn't work out. Okay, as I invest in my own creative potential, I experience my female creative genius. Okay, then creative cocooning is a freedom I give myself. I create a safe nest for peace, healing, and calm. Okay, so that's some things. So some truth is coming out, but I feel like that is divine intervention. Um, it's more the universe don't want you to be attached to that because that's not what the universe wants for you. The universe has something bigger in store for you. Okay. So uh, that's the reading that I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at Queen for the Tarot at gmail.com.